Hi everyone, today's reading is going to be a love message. This is going to be a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. Um, of course, not everyone will, so if you find the messages aren't resonating, that's okay. Don't try and force fit it, just let it flow. Um, to those of you interested in proceeding with a personal tarot reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed just below the video. Having said all of that, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming up. For you at this particular point in time. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands is certainly an exciting kind of energy uh, in a love reading. It's it's an energy of movement. It's an energy of action. It's an energy of change. It's an energy of things just working out. The Knight of Wands has this self-confident uh, presence to his energy. The Knight of Wands is someone who is, he's got this roaming spirit of adventure. The Knight of Wands is someone who knows what he wants. Um, and when he knows who it is that he wants or what it is that he wants, he likes to go for it. He likes to do the chasing. So it's a very confident kind of energy. It's a very free spirited energy. He is a little bit impulsive. He is known to be a bit of a player, and this can be an energy that's a little bit hard to pin down. He's a bit of a wild card. Um, but there is something very desirably attractive about this card and the energy that this card brings to your reading, and perhaps even to your life. I feel like there potentially is a really thrilling and exciting romance that is brewing uh, you okay that's in um that's being strongly indicated in the cards for you there's this irresistible quality to to this person or this person feels an irresistible attraction to you this is someone who may be a crush or this this is someone who maybe has had a secret crush on you uh, for some time but this is someone who is there's this insatiable quality to this connection and to this um, to this person, and there's this very strong attraction. Um, I feel like this is someone who has either spent a lot of their time moving from place to place before settling down, or someone who's travelled a lot, someone who's dated a lot, someone who has a lot of admirer someone who gets a lot of attention i feel like this symbolizes look i don't want you to think that just because of the knight of one's energy he's got this reputation for being a bit of a player right he's got this reputation for having a bit of a non-committal energy being a bit hard to pin down but this is someone who i feel like maybe has got like they've gotten all of that out of their system and I feel like this is someone who is ready, and they've thought about it as well, guys. So, you know, they've really thought about it. This is someone who I feel like is ready to commit to you. 
there is someone who I feel like is coming in for you and they're making a beeline for you. So this could be a past energy, okay? This could be someone that you've connected to in the past. This could be a, uh, a flame, okay, that still burns really brightly. There's this attraction. There's this magnetic connection to this person. I do think that there is some sort of competition around this person. So I do think that perhaps you're not the only one who is vying for their attention or perhaps you're not the only person in their life. But I do think that there is something here that is pulling. There's, especially with the devil's energy, there's this magnetic connection or magnetic attraction that is pulling this person towards you. It does feel like this could be the energy of an ex or a person that, a, a past flame or a person that, a past person, a person that you have connected to in the past, someone whom you've had a really strong attraction um, for, someone whom you've had a really strong connection with. But... A very strong energy of an ex perhaps even a twin flame connection maybe or someone whom maybe you are still connected to someone so even if you've broken up with this person and even if you feel like you know you're done with this person then maybe this person might be coming back for unfinished business because there's this insatiable quality to this connection there's this insatiable quality that you feel and that they feel towards you and i think if look I do think that this person has played around in the past or maybe they've played with your heart. This is someone who I don't think was very serious in the past. I feel like this is someone who maybe put you in a third party situation. Someone who um, maybe it was someone who hurt you, someone who hurt the relationship. Um, I also feel like this person didn't was very uninhibited this person was very like they have this inexplicable attraction to you but at the same time they weren't able to commit to you they weren't able to commit to a relationship um and maybe back then during those circumstances they weren't seeking a relationship maybe they weren't seeking commitment or maybe they just were not in a hurry to settle down but there's just something this like in the energies you can see you've got both the knights here knight of wands and knight of swords both of them are leaping in mid-air okay both of them are there's like this urgency right there's this urgent quality to the cards they're taking action so this is someone who i feel like as i've said earlier they're making a beeline for you so someone who feels like they need to desperately connect they need to tell you how they feel they need to talk to you they need to see you someone who is rushing in towards you rushing in with this with this urgent energy almost like it's desperate like this person really wants to see you like they really want to reconnect they really want to reconcile maybe this person is scared that they're going to lose you or that you know um you might no longer be interested so there's a very strong energy of them wanting to rush back in towards you and there is this magnetic pull there's this magnetic attraction that you feel towards this person there's like this very fun flirty energy and i think that this person has had like this is someone who prefers to do the chasing okay and i feel like this person has like you've gone through a period where in the past where this person has chased you or even if this isn't past energy then i think in the past this person has I think they've had a lot of people chase them. I think they've had a lot of people like fight for their attention. You know, um, they've had a lot of people who maybe they attracted that were a little bit clingy, a little bit desperate or a little bit needy. This is an energy that does not prefer to be chased. This is an energy that prefers to do the chasing. So maybe the, I'm also picking up maybe if this is a past energy, maybe this is someone who you were chasing in the past maybe you didn't realize but something happened where you found yourself chasing this person and whenever that happened this person likes to speed away from being chased they don't like being chased they like to do the chasing they like the thrill of the chase they like the thrill of the hunt that sort of thing so since you've stopped chasing them or since you've stopped giving them attention this is when I think things shifted for them. And this is when this person 
noticed and all of a sudden okay they feel like you've got competition they feel like you've got strong chemistry with someone and all of a sudden this person has switched their game up all of a sudden you'll find you'll soon find that this person is now wanting to do the chasing this person wants to chase um I don't know this person feels like there's still something left to conquer in this connection I feel like this person wants to do like the dirty work they want to chase they want to put in the work and you know what? I feel like there's something that has changed. I honestly feel like they've had a change of perspective. They've had a change of heart. They've had a change of circumstances. Or there's been some sort of energy that's shifted in your connection with this person. Or just something shifted in their life. Because I just feel like there's this... They can't wait. Okay, they felt something very strong. Like they've felt a very strong attraction. They felt a very strong connection with you and even though they did have options okay they were talking to other people and maybe since you've broke up or since you've last seen each other they have been talking to other people they've maybe even been seeing other people but they they do not feel like you they haven't been able to replace you they do not feel what they've felt with you which is this beautiful energy of like this beautiful romantic energy, this energy of them feeling really excited, them feeling euphoric, them feeling as though, you know, they've got butterflies. This person doesn't even know how to put into words their emotions, but they want to feel it again and they want to feel it with you. And this is why I feel like they're coming back with this urgent energy, making a beeline for you because they know what they've had with you. They also know that they've screwed up and I think that there is something here Again, I feel like they've been doing some work, okay? They have shown a light onto the dark shadows of their individual um, self, okay, of their self. So any shadowy aspects of their nature, their personality, they've taken all of that and they've shown a light on all of it so that they could illuminate, you know, what were the shadowy aspects that they needed to work on. Of their personality or what were the shadowy aspects that they needed to work on of your relationship so they did some work and something has suddenly shifted in their energy um, but there is still something very a little bit like dark about them that's not to say that it's anything negative but there's some sort of dark mysterious enigmatic alluring quality to them it is it is a, a, a sort of attraction so that yeah i do pick up that but someone who i feel like has finally decided who's finally made up their mind and I think in the past maybe this person struggled you know maybe you gave the, you gave them an ultimatum or maybe because they were so non-committal this person may have been a fluctuating presence you know in and out of your life they would stay they would leave they you know hot and cold that sort of thing but now I, and even sometimes their behavior in the past I think would be a little bit juvenile as well but now I just think that this is someone who This is someone who wants that love experience with you and the allure of what you've had or the allure of what they had with you um, that is pulling them back towards you this person might be okay because of the energies here this person might be someone who is falling in love with you or is realizing that they have fallen in love with you because both the knight of wands and the knight of swords is a very like very fast charging energy i feel like the way that i'm interpreting this for you honestly is that your person is falling for you and when you fall for someone your brain releases certain chemicals chemicals such as adrenaline um dopamine these chemicals are absolutely a natural response or they're like a natural hormone that lead to a feeling of euphoria, a feeling of happiness, a feeling of falling in love. 
So I do think that this person is feeling some sort of high or has felt some sort of high when they were with you. I also feel like right now this person feels like you are their best, even though they may have other options around them, but this person feels like you are the best option for them, okay? You are the best option out there. And they feel like it's something about a chase. Maybe this is already happening in your life and you can relate to this. Something about them really chasing you. They feel like there's something about the chase being simply the best option out there because they don't think that there is anyone better out there. They don't think that they can replace you. They don't think that they have any other alternatives. This person, I do feel like there's something about their quality, like their personality, where it's this wandering energy. I think this person... I just don't think in the past they were ready, ready to settle down. I also feel like because they were uncertain of what their emotions were for you, and they, they were uncertain of what love is, right? It was hard for them to... It was hard for them to um, put their emotions into words. But it's this, it's this euphoric feeling. It's this euphoric quality that I feel like is calling them, that is beckoning them, that is attracting them back to you. And it's also attracting them back to the chase, to them wanting to chase you, you know, making plans, calling you, messaging you, being in touch. Because uh, they feel like, you know, once they do the chase, they know that at the end of the chase, you're the prize. And they know that you're the ultimate prize to win. Like, So I feel like someone is coming back to chase you, but it feels like they're trying to... It's not just that they're trying to chase you and that's it and just, you know, enjoy the thrill of the chase. It's to secure you. It's to secure a relationship with you. It's to pin you down. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.